Species in the universe go extinct soon after attaining high levels of technology, astrophysicists suggest. August 22, 2017, from Message to Eagle website. Earth is not unique. There are billions of other planets circling billions of other stars in the universe. Considering the vastness of space, it's logical to think that there simply must be some intelligent life out there. So where are those advanced extraterrestrial species and why haven't we detected them yet? An astrophysicist suggests that species like our own go extinct soon after attaining high levels of technology. Daniel Whitmire, a retired astrophysicist who teaches mathematics at the University of Arkansas, once thought the cosmic silence indicated we as a species lagged far behind. He's now of a different opinion. I taught astronomy for 37 years, said Whitmire. I used to tell my students that by statistics, we have to be the dumbest guys in the galaxy. After all, we have only been technological for about 100 years, while other civilizations could be more technologically advanced than us by millions or billions of years. Are we a typical species in the universe? Today, Whitmire thinks we, humans, are a typical species in the universe. So why did he change his mind, and what is his assumption based on? By applying a statistical concept called the principle of mediocrity, the idea that in the absence of any evidence to the contrary, we should consider ourselves typical rather than atypical. Whitmire concluded that our species may not be as primitive as he previously thought, but rather average. The argument is based on two observations. We are the first technological species to evolve on Earth. We are early in our technological development. He defines technological as a biological species that has developed electronic devices and can significantly alter the planet. The first observation seems obvious, but as Whitmire notes in his paper, implication of our technological species being first and early. Researchers believe the Earth should be habitable for animal life at least a billion years into the future. Based on how long it took proto-primates to evolve into technological species, that leaves enough time for it to happen again up to 23 times. On that scale, there could have been others before us, but there's nothing in the geologic record to indicate we aren't the first. We'd leave a heck of a fingerprint if we disappeared overnight, Whitmire noted. By Whitmire's definition, we become technological after the Industrial Revolution and the invention of radio, or roughly a hundred years ago. According to the principle of mediocrity, a bell curve of the ages of all extant technological civilizations in the universe would put us in the middle 95%. In other words, technological civilizations in the last millions of years or longer would be highly atypical. Since we are first, other typical technological civilizations should also be first. The principle of mediocrity sh allows no second acts. The implication is that once species become technological, they flame out and take the biosphere with them. If we're not typical, then my initial observation would be correct, he said. We would be the dumbest guys in the galaxy by the numbers. Whitmire's theory is very interesting, but there are also other prominent scientists who have debated how to classify extraterrestrial civilizations. In a seminal paper published in 1964 in the Journal of Soviet Astronomy, Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev theorized that advanced civilizations must be grouped according to three types. Type 1, Type 2, and Type 3, which have mastered planetary, stellar, and galactic forms of energy, respectively. He calculated that the energy consumption of these three types of civilization would be separated by a factor of many billions. Although it is impossible to predict the precise features of such advanced civilizations, their broad outlines can be analyzed using the laws of physics. No matter how many millions of years separate us from them, they still must obey the iron laws of physics, which are now advanced enough to explain everything from subatomic particles to the large-scale structure of the universe through a staggering 43 orders of magnitude, close quote, said Dr. Michio Kuku. Since we have never been in contact with an advanced extraterrestrial race, it's really impossible to predict the precise features of such advanced civilizations. Now the link to the article called Implication of Our Technological Species Being First and Early is in the article and it's linked at the end of the article. 
Thank you for coming to Play Mundane Show. Hope you enjoyed it. Please hit like and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. I'm Alex Quarius, and I'm out.